What's going on my fellow knights? My name is Gallant Gaming. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in FNAF FFRP and Roblox or Fazbear Frights Roleplay if you know it better as that. And there's five brand new badges out now. I'm going to show you how to get all five of them in this video. But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed, hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily videos, and whenever you're buying Robux or Premium, use star code GAMLIN. Alright, so the first badge, 1 million visits, ITP Spring Bonnie. You want to be at the teleporter that goes to the houses, then you'll be right here, you just got to turn around, and go on top of the golden statue. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can either try to climb up it, and you'll find that that is very hard. Or you can teleport over to the abandoned pizzeria. And now we're going to go to the back left-hand corner. And there will be a tool back here that we could use to climb up to the top of the golden statue a lot easier. So just follow me. We are going to go in the back corner of the map, behind the pizzeria, past that hole in the wall, past the dumpster, past all this stuff. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You can already kind of see it right there. And it is a ladder. All you have to do is run over and click it, and you'll have a giant ladder. Now we're going to go ahead and take this back to the houses. And we're going to run up, and we can put this somewhere next to them. Uh, like here? Like here? Like here? 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 There we go. Right there you could put it. Attach it to his hand climb up and it makes this a lot easier so we're gonna go ahead and jump up here jump up to his head and once you get to the top one million visits badge is yours for the next badge flesh mask stitch wraith we're gonna go ahead and stay at this teleport which again is the house's teleport and we're gonna go to the back left of the statue so if you're facing the statue go behind it and go to the left uh, we are actually going to turn into someone that can run a little bit faster just to get this part out of the way. So I am going to pick the plush trap chaser. You could be whoever you want. And we're just going to go behind all these. There is a house up on the hills. That is the one we are going to. So uh, I don't know if any characters move faster than this thing. But as of right now, it does move the fastest that I know. Also, there's something over there. I don't know what that is. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and climb up right here. It's right at the end of the house before you get to the gas station. You'll see you'll see the ramp. It, it You'll see it. There's these dirt spots everywhere. And we're going to go over here. We're going to go on the roof of this house. So we're going to have to do a little bit of parkour again here. Whoop, there we go. Just jump on the fence. Jump up. Or I guess you could jump on the mountain behind it. And then jump in that way. But either way, there's a hole in the ceiling, drop down, touch the person in the bathtub, climb all over them, and you will get the Flesh Mask Stitch Wraith badge. The next badge is the Aqua Chica badge. For this one, we're going to teleport to the train station. And then we're going to turn uh, this way. So if you're facing the train station, not the waterfall, we're going to go to this little pond right here. And then, by this corner, there will be a cupcake underwater. All you gotta do is touch it. Uh, there you go. You can kind of see it. It is a little hard. There it is. Uh, all you gotta do is run up and touch it, and Aqua Chica is yours, too. Alright, this next badge is a little bit more difficult. This is the Bunny ITP Spring Bunny. So, I am gonna go main menu, and we are gonna be a human. You will see why in a second. We will have to transform into something smaller later. But for now, we're going to pick male, uh, the shirts, the pants, none of that matters. What we want is the flashlight all the way at the bottom. Once you select that, scroll back up and hit finish. And now we're going to teleport to the cave, which is right there. I mean, we're literally right there anyway, but just to, just to be sure. All right, so let's go in the cave, and we're going to hug the left wall. And we're going to follow this path the whole way. There are no more other paths you can take. So if you hit a dead end, just keep going. Uh, so there we go. We'll go up here. You know you're at the right spot if you see this railing. Then we're going to go up and around. And behind this tent, there is a little hole in the ground. And we're just going to whoop. Down into the hole we go. Where am I? 
Hello. Oh, I'm not down all the way. Okay, there we go. I was confused. All right, once you fall down all the way, you might have to, like, fix yourself because I got stuck in there. You'll see this weird Easter-themed room. Uh, then there's a little hole right here, which we can't quite get in. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I almost teleported. Uh, main menu and switch us to someone small. No, not a child. So you could either be the mini Rena or the cupcake. I'm going to pick cupcake, though, because it lights up the area as well. So we're going to go in here. All right, so when you're at this sign, you do want to go to the right. If you go left, it's a very long path, and all you'll see is a rabbit that tells you you went the wrong way. So we're going to go right. And if you're a cupcake, you can see everything. Definitely helps. Uh, it illuminates everything, so you can't possibly get lost. It is a straight path anyway. Then at the very end, you'll see an egg on the ground. Run up and touch it, and the badge is yours. For the final badge, Hazardous Stitch Wraith, we're going to go ahead and teleport to the factory, and we're going to switch from Cupcake over to Stitch Wraith. Go into Animatronics and scroll over one, and the Stitch Wraith is right there. This is a new character, and it's terrifying. Look at that. It's so scary. But anyway, when you're Stitch Wraith, you want to go inside the factory, and then we're going to go left. And all you got to do now is touch these coats right here. And you'll die. It'll reset you. You are now Hazardous Stitch Wraith. And there you go. That is how you get all five brand new badges in this game. So now I'm going to show you the morphs that we get for all of them as well. So let's go to main menu, play, and let's do the 1 million visits first. So into the pit, Spring Bonnie again is a new character. Uh, I'm actually going to go outside for this. Uh, and actually I'm going to teleport to the house. Actually, I didn't do it. One second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. I got it. It's all under control. But uh, this isn't a badge character. This is just Into the Pit Spring Bonnie. But it's really cool, so I wanted to show you guys it either way. Uh, so here's all the abilities and stuff you could do as well with it. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> it's dead. Uh, then it has a deactivate sit. Oh, look at it. Oh, its eyes are like bulging out of his head. You have a creepy wave. We have a worm. Why do you have a worm? You can move too. That's great. And the wave dance. Very nice. But anyway, now let's get to the badge morphs. So for Into the Pit Spring Bonnie, we have a blue one. One mil Spring Bonnie. Look at him. He's like solid diamond. That's so cool. Very, very nice. And we did just go over his emotes. So I'm assuming they're going to be the same. Yeah, they all do look the same. It is still very cool. And there you go. Uh, for the next one, for the Flesh Mask Stitch Wraith, main menu, animatronics, go left one, skins, Flesh Mask. Oh, that's so creepy. Look at it. Uh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Uh, we have a glitch. It's freaking out. It looks like, like a doll head. Uh, we have deactivate. We have lay. We have scalvage. Did I read the right? Yeah, we have Scalvage. Uh, we have Attack. There it is. Slap. He has Slap Attack. He will slap you. Serious stand. Yeah, that is pretty serious. Jeez, uh, he's so creepy. Yeah, we have Fall as well. What? 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 Is he just laying there? That is so creepy. Why does he stand up so slow? All right, that's a little terrifying, but there you go. Flesh Mask Stitch Wraith. The next one is Aqua Chica. So back to animatronics, left two. And coming home Chica, I didn't even realize it was a thing. Uh, but anyway, here's Aqua Chica. Uh, she has sprouting water out of her head, an empty plate. And here are her abilities. A perform, deactivate, a deactivate again, lay, a chicken flip. You know, I was wondering what that did, but uh, it makes sense. Also, the water's like going everywhere. That's awesome. Cupcake praise. Uh, Chica, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, your plate's kind of empty. <laughs> it looks like she's freaking out. She's like, oh, where's Cupcake? Ah! Uh, then we have the black eyes as well. Very, very nice. And then we have Bunny ITP Spring Bonnie. So back to Spring Bonnie we go. And Bunny Spring Bonnie. Oh, hey, there he is. He looks like a wolf, kind of. 
I don't know why it reminds me of a wolf, but I'm assuming this has the same abilities as well, so we don't need to go over them again. But here he is, got his little rabbit tail. He's got his different colored ears. He still has the eyes bulging out of his head, so it is a little scary. And then, last but not least, we have Hazardous Stitch Wraith. Whoops, I open emotes, main menu, play animatronics, and go over to Stitch Wraith, and uncloaked. Ooh, this isn't what I was going to look at, but it is still, wow. Definitely very creepy. Okay, sorry, that's not what I wanted to look at, but I got distracted, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go back in and Hazardous Stitch Wraith. We were this for a little bit, but we haven't become it ourselves yet, and there we go. Very, very nice. I am really, really happy with the new updates to this game. They've added a ton of characters that a lot of them aren't in other games. Also, I still don't know what that is straight ahead. It's definitely something. But anyway, guys, if you need any of the other badges in this game, I do have a video on every single one of them, so don't miss that. Uh, and also, make sure you guys are subscribed and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily FNAF videos. I do have a bunch of other badge guides on all the other FNAF Roblox games, so definitely check those out. And last but not least, use star code GALLANT when you're buying Roblox or Roblox Premium. And that's it. I will see you all in the next video tomorrow. Bye!